Hello, everybody. Mike from Southern California again. It's Friday, April 17th, 2020, and you're on the mic. So, we've hit another milestone today. Today, this episode here is the 200th episode of On the Mic. So, I'm just going to, you know, for today, nothing too serious. I'm going to just, you know, obviously we'll still have the niche this month and, you know, this date in each history that, you know, that's still always a good piece of information. This is just going to be just a general video about, like, where the channel's at, where the channel's going. You know, just kind of give you an update on what, you know, what's going on with all that. Um, with it being the 200th episode, you know, just kind of looking back over how I got this, how I got this channel started and what I've been doing with it and stuff like that. So, you know, now I've been technically, I've been a U YouTube member since 2013. But I, of course, I didn't start uploading videos until like May of last year. You know, just, I, I never, you know, wasn't sure if I could or not. And then as, but then as the whole thing with Vic Mignogna, Mignogna, um, started to, um, unfold as I was, you know, watching, you know, cut the coverage of him, like from Hero Hay, from Tug, from, you know, that umbrella guy, um, Yellow Flash, Nick Rakita, and a few others. Um, I figured, hey, I want to get in on this too. So I figured I'd give it a shot, you know, give my commentary, give my two cents. You know, there's times I can pick up on things that, other people don't, you know. So in May, I started. I just started uploading videos initially, you know, and that's how my um, pl my polls playlist is. It's like all those early videos in which I was also, you know, linking them up to like polls on Twitter. Well, after a while, that and then in July, I decided to make them more, make these more a bit more segmented, you know, a bit more professional by um doing it as you know as like a daily kind of news commentary show called on the mic you know granted mike i have done a lot of coverage on the big situation that's true but over but as i've always said about my channel i cover many niche topics you know i cover anime i cover you know cartoons i cover comics and manga i cover pro wrestling you know and a lot of this from a historical standpoint you know um Many of you have heard, of course, when I've been on Tug Streams, I've often referred to the, com the, the thing about the Comics Code Authority, um, which has some similarities um, to what's going on now. And, uh, you know, historically, something to look at. It's kind of interesting to see how comics evolved from their golden age of the 1930s to the 1950s to the Silver Age of the 50s to like the 80s and then the Bronze Age, I think the 80s and 90s and, and so, on, so on and so forth. Um, so, and then, of course, after a while, I started, just, I decided to, you know, the VA profiles, voices big and small. And my intent behind doing the VA profiles was, you know, informational. You know, it was like, you know, to try to get every, you know, try to, you know, just, promote you know because you know we often particularly during the height of the trial and all that we talked a lot about a lot of these kick big voice actors who come out with all these accusations and stuff like that instead of like i figured instead of spotlighting them because everybody you know now obviously if there's something significant like with what happened with kitchener kind of course you know kind of gonna 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 cover it okay you know, it's something significant like that. Of course, you cover that. But how many times do you have to cover unfounded accusations, accusations that lack any real proof, um, or just you know sitting there listening to one somebody on TV just just sitting there, you know, for the umpteenth time trying to convince you why Vic is what they say they are when they provided no hard evidence to that fact. 
a classic he said she said situation. You know. So um So, you know, with that, um, and then after, you know, so after a while I wanted to start doing things to promote, you know, I wanted to start obviously promoting the cons as well. That's why I came up with the anime convention previews on my, on the mic segments as well on Tuesday nights. A lot of this is just to get the information out there to give you guys options, you know, um, the voices, you know, voices big and small, you know. Uh, profile voice actors. I and I, you know, I yes, I have, I do do Funimation too. Those Funimation voice actors are not involved in the whole Kick Vic saga. The ones who probably just as much deserve to be given, you know, the fanfare and the attention. You know, just to let you guys know that they're not, not everybody at Funimation is against Vic. It's probably just a handful of people who, um, Who really are against them or just don't like working with them, you know, you know, not, you know, as we've seen, it's not because he is what they say they are, because they provided no real evidence of that. It's more that they're jealous of him, they're jealous of his popularity. You know, um, but that's, you know, but I have also covered other things too, other, you know, now the voice, the voice, yeah, you know, voice act, voices big and small segments. I'm not just covered, you know, Funimation and L, you know, the Dallas and, and LA based voice actors, but also try to introduce you, you know, also done like the Vancouver based voice actors, up, you know, and if that, the Vancouver and Calgary based voice up in Canada. If you guys haven't checked out any Ocean Studios or Blue Water dubs, you guys should. Some of you should know some of it because like some of the earlier Gundam series, like. Mobile Suit Gundam and Mobile Suit Data Gundam were actually dubbed by some of the, and I, let's see, as far as I know as well, I think Mobile Fighter G Gundam was also, uh, see, I think Mobile Suit Gundam was dubbed by, um, by Ocean. And then Zeta Gundam and Mobile Fighter G Gundam, I think, were dubbed by Blue Water. So, if you, if you guys remember those dubs and on Toonami, that's great. You know, I'm, I hope to, you know, I, with the VA profile, I hope to get you more familiar with more of their works, you know, as, as well as, you know, of course, Sentai in Houston, you know, AD, you know the Houston-based voice actors, ADV slash Sentai, and the New York-based voice actors, you know, because there's a lot of options out there, and that's what I hope to do with that. You know, and also, of course, on my on-the-mic segments, you know, um, I have, I, and... I have, you know, started at some point the anime convention previews to give you guys again more options to let you guys remind you of what con what local cons are in your area. You might want to go and check out. And as always, guys, I always tell you when I do those that if there's a particular voice actor you want to see at a convention, the best way to do it is to contact your local convention and ask them to invite them. Um. So that's a lot of what I've been doing there. And then I just, and I also cover, I also, as I said, I also cover other stuff. I cover, like, if there's anything significant, cartoons, um, at least from a historical standpoint. Um, pro wrestling, of course, I recently covered the Ronda Rousey story, her interview. You know, I don't do a lot of it as of yet. You know, but I but and I also just started another feature, another historic, another feature called Squared Circle Calendar that you guys might want to check. For those of you who are into pro wrestling and particularly into pro pro wrestling history, at least from '75 on, um, what I do in those segments is I basically am go, you know, I I sit there will watch some old wrestling shows, you know, of the time. And then what I've been doing on my videos is I've been like kind of highlighting some of the major stories of like I've done two episodes already, January 1975 and February 1975. And yeah, I know I missed some things on February 1975. Still, when you're starting something, sometimes you know you're going to have a few little, you know, hit, you know, a few little, you know, little twerks here and there, just 
try to, um, you know, I had to make some corrections on the, you know, I had to kind of do some addendums on the beginning of the February one. I'll have to do some on the March one as well. Hopefully after that, though, hopefully once I get the kinks worked out, you know, everything will be clear and I'll get everything on the, on the stories that you can. I hope you guys will watch those as well to learn a little bit about, you know, because, yeah, I know a lot of you probably are aware of, like, a lot of the current stars, like, a lot of the current, like, WWE or Impact or, or, um, AEW stars. But in some cases, you know, you know, some of them, like, let's say, like, Cody Rhodes, who's a second generation, his dad, Dusty Rhodes. Now, many of you out there know Dusty Rhodes, the three-time NWA world champion. You know, he, you know, he was, um, he was a big star in the territory days and in the early 80s there. Um, I might want to learn more about beginnings of his career. You know, there are a few others. Like, you know, I know many of you know Charlotte from WWE fame. Her father, Ric Flair, legendary world, multi-time world champion. And as I've said, I've, I've done, I've done some like wrestling news coverage, like, you know, I did the Ronda Rousey story. I did a tribute to Harley Race after, you know, when he passed away last year, you know, um, and I even did a tribute for voice act like Michael Lindsay and Bryce Armstrong when they passed away as well. Um, or the, or the being small, but that, you know, and moving forward here, that's what you can look forward to, you know, daily news commentary on, like, granted, I've been doing stuff, I've obviously been covering more of the human interest, human nature aspect of the, you know, the effects of the coronavirus. Um, I do have my own political views, but I try not to really, try not really talk politics too much on my channel, just simply because I just don't want the headaches um, associated with that. Um, but obviously this is something, you know, obviously with coronavirus is like the big news story that's out there right now. You've got to talk about it because there are, there are aspects of it that, you know, people need to understand, you know, in terms of human nature, you know. Uh, uh, but I generally try to st keep away from politics on my channel. I don't cover pol. I follow politics a bit, but I don't cover it. I prefer not to, because it can be a very contentious thing, and I don't necessarily not trying to be contentious here with my channel. I'm just trying to get information out there. Yeah, I know people would say, well, no, that's not true because because you're you know involved. In well, that's in the niche environment. Okay, that's more in the niche environment. That's what I'm covering, you know. But I'm also covering other things. I've done other little segments on my on the mic as well, like Voices Around the Town. Again, another promotional thing of trying to promote, you know, some of the works and some of the things of some of the, you know, some of the, not just their voice acting work, obviously, but other works that you can catch them in, you know. And I just, you know, the other day, Figured I'd follow suit with what some other people have been doing, but but not you know, but taking it a little further, you know, because I know a lot of people will cover Vic's unlock streams, so I'm taking it one step further by not just covering Vic, but covering some of the others unlocked. So on a probably weekly basis, probably on Wednesday, you, you guys, I'll I'm gonna try to at least watch a few of the unlock streams and you know some of the. BAs I want to profile, see if I can find any, like, news items, like, like, things like projects that they're allowed to talk about, that they're working on, you know, um, convention, convention appearances, updates, you know, any other, like, significant news that, you know, might be of interest, you know, um, and giving commentary on some of that, so, but that's basically that's basically where we're at after well obviously I this is the two hundredth episode of On the Mic, but this isn't my two hundredth video. I have like and I now well technically I have thirty one 
videos of voices big and small because there will be one premiering tonight at five and i hope you guys will come out and catch that um i have the 29 that i did prior to starting on the mic series the one in the bowl and you know you guys can always go through my playlist and um go back and watch older you know i know that like particularly with the the news news type ones like the polls ones and the on the mic ones those are probably you may not be isn't because those the news obviously a little outdated you know it's, um but you know if there's anything you guys want to check out you can always check out my channel check out the playlist you know the 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 voice is big and small stuff that stuff you can look at and then i've been i've also had some feature stories on my, on both the polls and the and the um and on the mic like with the polls you know i do have like the six dub capitals um of anime and then of course on on the mic i barely went more into more detail on the specific studios you know the six dub in other words basically the six main dub studios that i that i figured you know i had a shorter kind of profile of it and then i did more expanded profiles later as part on the mic segment so i might want to check those out too so with that that's through 200 episodes that's about as much as i can say right now um and i of course continue to do daily on the mic segments as much as i can except for the time like the time i was out sick obviously um was so there's a couple weeks there where i wasn't doing videos where i had to take a break to kind of focus on getting myself well um also um also um let's see now um of course i still i'm doing the you know don't forget tonight is the premiere of voices big and small um I hope you guys will catch that. Now let's now before I leave you, of course, let's take a look at this day in each history. And I'm done with the main topic here. So let's take a look at what's happened on this date in each history. Okay, so on this date, April 17th, on this date in 1976, which is 44 years ago from today. Um, the Japanese mecha anime television series, um, Chodenji Robo Com Combattler, five, I guess five, V, V, V or five, depending on how you want to read that, uh, made its debut on TV Asai on this date in 1976. Um, the Japanese mecha anime, Chodenji Robo Combattler 5 made its debut on TV Asai in 1976. That's 44 years ago. On this date in 1980, which is 40 years ago, Harvey Comics released on the newsstands Hot Stuff number 155. Hot Stuff, of course, was uh, you know, Hot Stuff the Little Devil, I think, was kind of a slice of life comedic type um, comic. You know, following the the adventures of Hot Stuff, the Little Devil, hence the title. But the 155th issue of that of that title came out on this date in 1980, 40 years ago. And on this date in 2010, the guy who would later become known, well, John Mockley, who is also known as Dean Ambrose would defeat Roderick Strong for the Full Impact Pro World Heavyweight Championship on this date in 2010. Um, Full Impact Pro, of course, is an independent promotion in Florida. Um, they eventually became a a, um, a sister promotion to, World, uh, to Ring of Honor. Um, but on this date in 2010, um, in fact, by this point, they were a sister. Because from what I read, 
Full Impact Pro became a sister promotion to Ring of Honor in 2009. So on this date in 2010, John Moxley, also known as Dean Ambrose, beat Roderick Strong for the Full Impact Pro World Heavyweight title. So now that we're done with that part, if you guys, um, as always, guys, you can check the link below if you want to contact me directly. You can check out my Discord. Um, you can check out my Discord. You can um, you can join the Discord if you like. You can direct message me there. Um, I'm still promoting, of course, all the different dub companies, as, all, as I always do. Still promoting the GoFundMe. Um, as always, guys, never feel like you have to donate to the GoFundMes. Um, if it's on your heart to do so, and you have the means to do so, please consider donating to the GoFundMe. You know, and I ask you to consider. I don't ask you to don't. I ask you to consider because, you know, it's ultimately your choice to do so, whether or not you want to do do it. I'm not going to try to. You know, obviously, you know, I think you should, but you shouldn't just do it just because I think you should. You should, you know, make. You should consider it, meditate on it, if that's what you want to do. Um. You know, obviously, I believe in the cause enough to where I'll promote it. Um, but as but as I said, if you have the means and you and you know it's on your heart to do so, please consider donating to the GoFundMe. If you've already donated, please consider donating again. And if you um, if you cannot donate, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. You're sharing is caring. You never know. Maybe somebody in your circle of friends. Will you know? Will see it and will want to help too. You never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. Never hurts to ask. You know. Um, also, um, also, um, if you like this content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I always look forward to the conversation with you guys. As long as it's civil and respectful, um, I. Um, I hope you guys are catching the videos, um, as well as, and I also hope that you guys will catch Voices Big and Small tonight. I hope to see you guys there to converse with you during the premiere of that. So, um, and one last update before I go. Um, with everything kind of locked down right now, you know, as I mentioned before, the anime convention previews will be on hold until, until we, um, until they start opening up again so once the convention start going again then i'll start doing the anime convention previews so until then be patient you know take this time to like watch as much anime as you can and learn more about the works of some of the other you know vas out there and some of the other companies out there and i hope and i hope to see you guys tonight at the premiere if not i'll see you on monday bye